Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you T flip flops and how they work and how to build them. So pretty much this is one of the inputs I have here. I'll just press that, the gate will open, press it again, the gate will shut. And the good thing about this circuit is that you can have more than one input. So I got one of the inputs to open the door and when I get in the room, I've got another one to close the door. So it works perfectly for most houses and traps or whatever you want because you can have more than one input. I've actually got another one over here. You can have as many as you want. That's a good thing about it. So I'll just get over here to building it. What you want to do is just hit a block, put a redstone torch under it, put a piston like this and that. It doesn't have to be sticky pistons, but that's just what I've got. Now you put a block there. What you want to do is power both of these pistons. So the easiest way to power them is just chuck a redstone torch on top of them put some redstone to join it up and this is your input so you can move this wherever you want now you can just do it wherever so I'll just put it here so it's simple most people want to put this underground or something so people don't see the redstone when they walk into the room you can put this whole thing underground it's fine alright so here's the input here that just changes where the block is and for the output is actually this redstone torch so this redstone torch isn't powering this right now, but that's because there's no block on top of it. As soon as I put this input on again, it changes the block to here, which the redstone torch powers it and makes the output. So we'll put a door here. Actually, I'll put two doors here to show you how many inputs you can have. You can have as many inputs as you want. It's a bit glitched when you first set it up, but it'll, you'll see in a second. Alright, so we click this, it'll turn all of them off, click it again, all of them will turn on. So that's pretty much perfect for what you would want. That's multiple outputs. And now for multiple inputs, you just do that exact same thing, so, but on this side. So I've got another button here, so this will be another input that'll do exactly the same thing. Now, what some people want, I'll get rid of this real quick. Some people might want two different outputs because two different outputs could also be useful. So what you want to do is just chuck some repeaters here and you want to curve this redstone away. The only reason why you need repeaters is because look, it just cross talks straight away so you don't want that. You just want to chuck some repeaters there. Actually, you want to put a redstone torch under here first. You want to make sure you have that otherwise it won't be able to power the repeaters. So I'll just put that back, there's the repeater, so that's powered at the moment. Then you can bring this off to whatever output you want, so we'll put a door here, get as many as you want off this, but you need to know you can only have two different outputs. So we'll move this over here so we can see it, and we'll put another output off it. Alright, so now we can toggle between those two outputs. I'll just quickly flick once. So now this output's off, that one's on. Hit the button again. That output will be on, that output will be off. So you can set that up in whatever way you want, hide it in whatever way you want, and it all works great. This is this is one of the key circuits used for pretty much everything built in Minecraft. So if you have any questions, just post it in the comments below and I'll happily answer them. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.